Hey, listen, there's a recent hot topic in the investing world right now. Do you know what it is? Well, that's right. Let's delve into the deep world of ETF, exchange traded funds. And I'm here to break it down for you so you don't have to wonder anymore. First off, you may be wondering, mm. why are there so many of these ETFs? Well, here's the deal. ETFs are like an investment chameleon, right? They can track nearly anything, stocks, bonds, commodities, and even cryptocurrencies recently. As a manager, uh, they create these ETFs to meet the specific demands of investors for various markets and strategies. So that's why you're seeing Bitcoin ETFs, gold ETFs, and so on. So next up, let's talk about the difference between owning a real asset and investing in an ETF. When you own the actual asset, like physical gold or cryptocurrencies in your wallet, you've got complete control over everything. But with an ETF, you're essentially buying shares of a fund that holds these assets for you. Now, ETFs offer this diversification, which means you can spread your risk across multiple assets. And they're super easy to buy and sell on the stock exchange. But here's the deal. Owning an ETF is not the same as owning the real thing in your hand. When you invest in an ETF, you're buying shares of a fund that holds a bunch of assets. You know, stocks, bonds, commodities, which is worth repeating over and over since it's the main idea of these ETFs. So you need to keep that in mind. For instance, let's say you invest in gold ETF. What you are doing is you own shares of an ETF, which represents a slice of the gold that it holds but you don't get to get those shiny gold bars in your hands. Now, consider an ETF that tracks like the index of the S&P 500. When you invest, what you're doing is you're gonna own some shares of this ETF. You're not owning the individual stocks of the companies in this index. So what's the difference? Well, look, we made a sheet for you. Pause it, take a screenshot if you want. Here it is, ETF, indirect ownership through shares of a fund. The real thing is direct ownership and control of the actual asset. Look, ETFs, they offer diversification, liquidity and pro management, but the real things might require some storage or it could be less liquid. So it's really up to you as an investor to decide what works. The million dollar question, right? Which is a better investment? Well, it's not really this one size fits all. ETFs are super convenient and perfect for short term trading. And they give you this exposure to various assets without the hassle of really managing it yourself. On the other hand, direct ownership means you have full control. You can use these assets for specific purposes. It might even be essential if you believe in long term potential of the asset, like owning a piece of real estate, of course. So, in a nutshell, owning an ETF can give you exposure to the asset's performance, but it's not the same thing as holding it in your hands. Your choice all boils down to you. That's right, you, your financial goals, your risk tolerance, and what you're investing in, and well, overall, your investment strategy. All I can say is, one convenience and diversification, well, hey, yeah, ETFs, they have your back. Looking for control and long-term growth, maybe direct ownership might be your thing. Some even combine both approaches to build a balanced portfolio. So thanks for tuning in. And if you really enjoyed this, smash that like button and don't forget to give us a follow for more. And remember, always do your homework, stay informed, make solid investment decisions, and most of all, stay safe out there traders.